welcome back to our channel today's video is a what's for dinner video so I have five dinner ideas four chicken recipes and then one super easy shredded beef tacos that go in the crock pot um, so I will be explaining the ingredients and how to make everything throughout the video but I'll also Put the full recipe and ingredients in the description box below so let's get into this video the first meal is going to be chicken fajita stuffed peppers this was my first time making these but they were so so good so first you're just going to want to cut um, around the top of and take everything out like the seeds and the core and everything and then you're just going to want to cut the pepper in half and then here you're going to saute some garlic and onion and then you're going to cook your chicken with whatever seasoning you like and then obviously add fajita seasoning to it. Once the chicken is fully cooked we just added corn to ours but you can add any ingredients that you would like. We did pre-cook the peppers a little bit in the oven just to make sure that they were fully cooked once everything is in the peppers. And then in a minute here I'm going to show that I cooked some rice with it as well. I made just a packet of Spanish rice and that is going to be part of the filling. Now I'm just adding the rice to the mixture. I didn't use all of it. It kind of depends. We only had one chicken breast that we used so it depends on how much you are making. And then um, I did add some salsa here so I'm just mixing all of that up. And then I will be putting the mixture into the peppers. Now I am just going to top each of the peppers with cheese. And then you just put them in the oven until the cheese is melted basically since everything else is cooked and then they are ready to eat. The next meal we are making is sheet pan teriyaki chicken and veggies. So I'm just showing you the veggies that I had here. Uh, carrots, shredded carrots, broccoli, sugar, snap peas and then onion and red pepper. So I'm just gonna slice the onion and red pepper up and then you add all of it to the sheet pan. So now I'm just adding the vegetables to the sheet pan and then I'm going to put the raw chicken on top. It's just cut up chicken breast and then you're going to do any seasoning that you like and then some soy sauce and a little and some teriyaki as well. I forgot I also added some olive oil too and I'm just giving it a good mix and then you will pop it in the oven. Here I'm just starting some white rice that I made for the side with the chicken and veggies.
I did take this out halfway through and just kind of mixed everything together and cut up the chicken a little bit so we had smaller pieces. You do want to be careful because the juices were kind of leaking a little bit off the side of the sheet pan so if you had one with edges or sides on it um, that would be more useful. And this was another delicious, easy meal. Next, I am making chicken and asparagus pesto pasta. So I'm just getting the asparagus ready to put in the oven and roast. So all you do for this is add olive oil and then some seasonings and then just make sure to toss it all together. And then I put it in the oven on 425 for I think like 20, 15 to 20 minutes. You kind of just want to watch it. We like ours pretty crunchy. so. We cook it a little longer and then now I am just uh, slicing or dicing up onion and then putting some garlic in a pan to saute. Again you're gonna just cook your chicken up with whatever seasonings you wish. This meal was a hot mess to make because <laughs> our pesto was bad so Luis had to go get pesto and then I wanted to use like a rotini pasta but all we had was orzo so just making do with what we had. So here I'm just adding the orzo pasta and the roasted asparagus and then you will add your pesto and then kind of just mix it all together and then you can just top with some shredded parmesan cheese. This was super good and again another easy meal. Uh, you could also add some like roasted pine nuts if you like that or if you like sun-dried tomatoes that would also be really good. And this is what this turned out to look like when it was done. Last chicken recipe, <laughs> chicken lettuce wraps with peanut sauce. I am showing here that I was going to use this peanut satay sauce, but it was not good, so I ended up making my own. But I just had a chicken breast, cilantro, a lime, shredded carrots, onion, and an orange pepper. So I'm just going to kind of get all of that ready, and then I did cook everything in the wok. For this I did use a little sesame oil and then just some olive oil and then I'm going to go ahead and saute all of the veggies first and then I'm going to set those aside and then I'm going to saute the chicken in a little bit of sesame oil and olive oil as well with seasonings of your choice. And next I am showing the toppings. So we have butter lettuce that we use and then crunchy um, chow mein noodles and then some peanuts. And then the sauce, I end up making my own, like I said, the peanut sauce and then some cilantro. So for the peanut sauce, you just need peanut butter, brown sugar, sesame oil, rice wine vinegar, and um, a little bit of chili paste and then soy sauce and then a squeeze of a little bit of lime. 
and you just mix it together and then I kind of just taste it to see if it needs a little bit more of anything and you can add some red pepper flakes into it as well. And then next you're just going to put your chicken and veggies into the lettuce and then top it with the whatever toppings you want and then put the peanut sauce on top. Sorry if you hear Ari in the background, she's just grunting and making noises sitting here next to me. <laughs> and then this is the finished product. Next we are making crock pot shredded beef tacos. These are super good. So I'm just slicing up the red pepper. I'm adding garlic, onion, some cilantro, and then the meat is just beef stew meat that you put in the crock pot. So to the veggies I'm adding the meat and then um, you're going to add whatever seasoning you like and then I did add obviously taco seasoning and salsa. You also add a little bit of broth just to make sure there's enough liquid for everything to cook and then you just stir it up um, and then cook on low for like 8 hours and then I do show what it looks like when it's done but I forgot to get a picture of when we put it like in our tacos and everything but I did warm up our tortillas on the stove so that they were kind of grilled. Another good thing about this recipe is that it makes a lot so you can have it like two nights in a row. You could do tacos, quesadilla, or make burrito bowls with it. So that does it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And then uh, be sure to check out the description for full recipes for a, either of these um, meals. And make sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And we will catch you in our next video. Bye.